Liam Millar, the Canadian men's national team winger and FC Basel star, is set to join Cardiff City, the biggest side in Wales and of course a huge side growing in the championship as well, teaming up with another Canadian in Ike Ogbo who has absolutely taken the championship by storm and has played lights out for Cardiff City this season. But there's also a whole host of championship sides interested in the Canadian in Liam Millar in the legs of Preston North End, Cardiff City, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham, and Blackburn Rovers. A whole host of brilliant, exciting sides in one of the best leagues in world football, arguably the toughest league in world football, and this would be a massive transfer for Liam Millar, the rising Canadian winger who has been truly on the rise the past couple of years. And of course, they go on to say in the article from Pete O'Rourke, which was published yesterday from Football Insider 247, which is why I had to wait till today to make a separate video just around the Liam Millar transfer situation, because this might be one of the best transfer deals for Canadian players this summer. But Pete O'Rourke went to say this, a host of championship clubs including Preston, Cardiff, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham and Blackburn are plotting late moves for former Liverpool winger in Liam Millar. And that is very interesting because, of course, right now he's at FC Basel. It's just more exciting, more interesting to see, say, Liverpool. But he has been unbelievable for FC Basel. Yes, he's had his ups and downs through injuries, being in and out of form, bunch of managerial changes that has not helped his career at all, playing out of position for multiple seasons, and now he's been back on the wing this season to start for FC Basel, he's looked extremely exciting. Whether it's his work rate defensively, helping out in the box, creating chances, yet to have a goal contribution this season, but what he's done creating chances and helping out defensively and working back, as well as having that exciting work in the final third and a brilliant cross on him, Liam Millar would fit seamlessly into any championship side, in my opinion, and especially into a couple. And Cardiff City is by far the obvious link for so many reasons, and you can definitely see why. I know they have some brilliant wingers already there in Bowler and Odauda, and even Ike Ogbo can play on the wing, but that obvious Canadian link already for Cardiff City makes complete sense. Ike Ogbo is smashing it in the championship. He has done incredible things. He's been absolutely brought back to life. He's found his confidence. He's back to his old top form that he had with Trois and back in Belgium. And if they can get that same form and they can get that same confidence out of Liam Millar, they are going to get an unbelievable season and a couple fantastic players under their belt. And bringing in Liam Millar for Cardiff City, yes, they might have an abundance of wingers and great wingers in the championship. And I know I've seen some Cardiff City fans talking about how they don't 100% need him. But he is not a player that you just don't need. You could absolutely use the likes of Liam Millar. You only have the likes of three wingers within the club. In the likes of Matete, who has played at center forward multiple times this season, Josh Bowler, and of course Odauda, who has played on the left as well. Yes, Liam Millar might not step in and start into a club like this straight away, but stepping into a championship side, you're not always going to be demanding that start immediately. Yes, Liam Millar is a top player playing in a top league for FC Basel. Not one of the best leagues, of course, but one of the best sides that are consistently fighting for a title that are always in European football, and he's been playing tremendously well with them. But that doesn't mean he walks into a championship side, one of the best leagues in world football, and demands a starting spot. Yes, maybe at one or two of the sides that are interested in him, but that is a massive jump. You've got to prove yourself in training. You gotta prove yourself on the couple of opportunities you get as a substitute off the bench. And I think that is where Liam Millar would prove himself. Joining Cardiff City, coming in off the bench, showing himself. Yes, they have an abundance of wingers. They have likes of three very talented wingers for the championship in Odauda, in Matete, in Bowler. But you gotta look at the ages there. Liam Millar is still only 23, which is absolutely insane for me as a Canadian. When I loaded in, for some reason, I thought he was still 24, 25, with how long he was at Liverpool, with how long he bounced around, and then was at FC Basel for so long. He feels so much older. But only at 23, he would walk in and immediately come the youngest, youngest winger, outside of Ollie Tanner, who is really not in the picture. 
So he would by far jump in as their youngest winger, just under the age of Josh Bowler, who is 24. Of course, all Canadians want to see him end up at Cardiff City with that obviously EK Ugbo link. And since they have such good chemistry with the national side, you can see them playing very well at the club side as well. Especially with how Liam Millar's game translates so well with what EK Ugbo does on the pitch. So for me, the obvious link and the obvious club I'd like to see him at is Cardiff City, even though he more than likely wouldn't start immediately. But if you want to see him go to a top club, a top club with a lot of history, a rich history, but also probably demand a starting role when he walks into this side, is Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday only have the likes of four wingers on the club, with only one of them being a left winger in the 19-year-old Gassama, who is a French winger, of course, and a dual national, but only six at 650,000 value in the championship, which is very low. And I can't lie, I don't know a heck of a lot about Kasama. I'm not going to be beating around the bush there. But Liam Millar would completely walk into the side. He would demand a starting role. And in the championship, that is huge. Getting that kind of starting time to go in and demand a starting role in the championship shows the quality you have. Yes, it might be might talk about the quality that Sheffield Wednesday have as well, that they're not a great side sitting in 24th in the league table, but what Liam Miller would bring to Sheffield Wednesday would completely change their side, would give them so much more quality, and would be extremely exciting. Of course, there's obviously the other clubs involved, like the Preston North End, Rotherham. For me, and for all Canadians, we probably want to see him go to one of the likes of Blackburn, Sheffield Wednesday, or Cardiff City for varying varying reasons. They're the bigger clubs. They have rich history. They're very exciting clubs. Yes, Sheffield Wednesday might not be a very exciting club when they sit 24th in the league table. But when I think of Sheffield Wednesday, I think of the likes of Barry Bannon. I think of the rich history they have coming up from League One and, and building themselves and how they've had a rich history throughout the football league. So was, I would love to see him end up at Sheffield you, Sheffield Wednesday, but for me, there's so many exciting clubs you could end up at. I really like Preston North End. I think that's a great club you could end up as well. Rotherham, but Blackburn would be a great club as well. Very massive club, of course, after selling uh, Brereton Diaz, and now there's so much money. They could go for Liam Miller. I don't think Liam Miller is going to really cost that much. FC Basel aren't demanding big fees. I don't think Liam Miller would host for a big fee as well. Being a 23-year-old, not having too many goal contributions this season, they could move on from him, I think, fairly easily, but he's still a great star and an amazing player that's going to give you so much on and off the ball. Whether it's his great work rate, winning a challenge, coming back defensively and helping his fullbacks, or even having a brilliant cross into the box or a great creative ability, Liam Miller will bring either one of these sides so much, and all Canadians want to see him join one club, and that is Cardiff City. And that is why I believe Cardiff City would be the greatest fit and the best fit for Liam Miller. Even if he doesn't walk into this side immediately, I know that could be a big issue for Canadian fans. But Cardiff City are a side who I can see doing brilliant things this season. If EK Ugbo keeps finding form the way he is and keeps scoring as a Canadian, it's extremely exciting. But it moves this Cardiff City side so far up the table. And they've been doing so exciting this season. And when you have the players the likes of Dauda, Aaron Ramsey, Josh Bowler, Mateta, this side could go the distance. This side could go far. I truly believe that. That's not me just saying that with a Canadian in there. They're the biggest side in Wales. They have rich history. They're a very exciting club. And I'm following them with my whole heart this season. And I really hope Liam Miller joins Cardiff City. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which club should Liam Miller join? And which club do you guys think Liam Miller will join? It'll probably be my favorite transfer of the summer for a Canadian men's national team player. So let me know where you guys want to see Liam Miller join. Drop a comment down below. Hit that sub button and drop a like. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.